16th of January 2012 and we're going to talk to Arthur Nears <laughs> about his memories of his dad and oats and such like. Mm. Over to you, Chris. So when, when you um, first came to Gessenhook then, Arthur, you, um, you, the father worked for the Oates family. I suppose you can't forget the job, you know, you can't, him and his father had a wheelwright carpenter's business at Henny. Of course, in the 30s, farming was, well, no good at all. And they did the work, but couldn't get the money, so he had to do something. He saw this job out of his eyes over here and came over and uh, got it, and that's how we came to get some talk. And which which um which Oates was that that was at, had Gessenthorpe Paul then? Mr Captain Oates' mother. Captain Oates' mother had it. Yep. Yeah. And uh Violet lived there with her, that's Captain Oates' sister. Mm -hmm. She was the last one to own it. She was the one who you had to doff your hat to. Mm -hmm. What the old woman or No, yeah, I the never young. see I never saw the old she was bedridden. I never oh, saw she? her. No, I never saw her, Chris. And, uh, I mean, the parson and the lady of the rectory, they was the king and queen of the village, really, you, you know. Mm -hmm. You don't do anything to upset them. Oh, dear. <laughs> anyway. So Captain Oates' sister took over, like, the running of the, the estate then. She was running the estate then. With well, sort of. Old. They had a... They had a uh, Mr. Stevens, his name was, lived where Mike Pry lives. Mm -hmm. uh, farm manager, I suppose you call him, you know, because I had that whole farm and yeah. they had this one over here. Yeah, and uh, yeah, so he managed the farm and that's what. And then they, they, there were several gardeners up here then as well. That time used to be three gardeners, gardeners. plus. Some keeping this all this round here, you know. Oh yeah, so well at that photograph what I Joy was talking about, there's all on there and there's there must have been twenty or thirty people on there. Wonder Joy. I reckon, you know, women well my father said when he came here there was fourteen village ladies lit work up there, you yeah, know. In the house. Didn't get much for it, you know, mm -hmm. with a lump of beef at Christmas time and a pint of milk because they had cows over here. They thought that was marvellous. I suppose most of them lived in houses that belonged to the Oats anyway. Oh yeah, they? well they owned most of the villages, yeah. they bought most of the, the village belonged to them. So what year was it that you came? 19, to I think it was not by 1930 or 31. Right, okay. Yeah. I don't, do you, and when did the old lady die? Do you remember when the old lady died? No, I don't. I won't. I couldn't have been very old. That must have been shortly after then, I reckon, Chris. I don't remember, no. Uh, do you, uh, I think you told me once that uh, <coughs> they cut down a lot of trees in, in the Lays Wood to, yeah. to um, pay off the, yes, to pay the death. That's right, them. all the oak trees, yeah. Because there's a lot of that, a lot of the, they all came from Carlisle, I think, the wood fellas and uh, we had we lived down at the Tuckman then this is all finished up here as far as my father was concerned yeah. and he, he, we lived down Tuckman and uh, of course I'd only got to walk across the fields to get lay the wood you yeah. know and uh, they lodged with us well it's a rum lot I was bloody fine they lodged with you did they? yeah yeah three or four of them that's quite a big bungalow that was up there yeah. you know yeah. And they like to have a fight, did they? Oh, yeah, the old fight getting. <laughs> go out on the beer, you know, get finished that fight. <laughs> oh. so they were here for quite some time cutting, because they had all cut it all down by axes. That's right, the yeah. Yes, I can just remember, I went, I think I was about five or six when we went down there, I believe. But I can remember going up and watching them, you know, those. They used to, they used to have a new axe. They didn't, they didn't sharpen or anything. They had a new axe come all ground up, uh, no handle in them. I also remember that. And they used to wander around the 
in the nut stubs and cut their own handle and that was shaped like that and that was because they used to tie them up you see cut right down the trees mm. on down right down the ground they used to go and if I had a straight handle they used to have to be let down low you see but with a curved handle they could stand up and do it and uh, and they used to have a cross cut saw put them down and there'd be I think it was three men on one side and one on the other the one on the the, uh, the single fella just used to pull it back yeah. and then hold it in and the others used to yeah. pull it. It was a one way cut, you know. It didn't take them long to cut a tree down though. And old Lady Oaks, she wouldn't let any of us have any, any of parents and that people have any right. the tops, you know. They all laid about there and a lot of us are still up there. Gosh. Yeah, as hard as it looks still. Like in various parts of the wood. Yeah, wouldn't that the boy, I don't know, but that's how they were in those days. They didn't want anybody to have anything apart from themselves. And that was, that was a, it was another Oates who had Tuckman's, wasn't it? Yeah, well that's who offered it to my father. Yeah. That was Miss Oates who lived up here. That was her brother, Brian Oates his name was. Yeah, well that was his brother died at the pole, I suppose. Oh, so it was another brother that was... Yeah, oh, all the same family. And did he, he didn't live about here though, did he? No, I don't know where he used to live. No, he used to... It couldn't have been far away, I wouldn't have thought. So he used to... That was a fruit farm in those days, yeah. you know, when we was there. Lovely all in amongst the strawberries, beets and that. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, Stryden. And how many was, um, was there just the one bungalow down there then? Or Only was one, yeah. Just the one bungalow. Right where that monstrosity is what he built now, yeah. You know? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh. Be careful. <laughs> yeah, there well. been, I mean, I've, I've read a thing before where there was some old cottages there as well, but they were probably before the bungalow. <laughs> Yeah, I the can't tuckles. ever remember them. No, so. I think that they, that, you know, but probably they probably pulled down in the, yeah. you know, first. That was a horrible bungalow. That, was, that looked nice, but that was a concrete place. That always damp. Mm. Every room was damp. Mm. You know, concrete. Yeah, but uh, the bloke who bought it lived here a lot of years. I forget what his name was. Now Smith was Smith, it? Smith, I think. Wasn't it? Yeah, I believe it was. Yeah. Yeah. He was there for a while, then. So then, then obviously, when it, when the um, they then they sold after the war. They sold the place to the cooks then. Nineteen forty-seven. Forty-seven. Yeah, and so, they went so there Oates, just fifty years, and then they Corinna sold in ninety-seven. Yeah. So Miss Oates was there during the war then. Yeah, she was there during the yeah. war. Yeah, yeah. But see, I was there. I was still at school down the wall, so I don't remember much about it. I can remember having little notes come to school though and telling us about saying good morning, Mum, or whatever, you know. And that's how it was in those days, wasn't it? The only person that used to get away with it was old Bluffy Rittengarl, Harry Rittengarl, <laughs> with the taxi, you know what I was holding yeah. about? Told, told him to put his pipe out. <laughs> old Barman, you say? He would he never so I'll never take it anymore. He never did it, I don't think. But he he didn't bother about it because he's got money in his own rights, you see. Yeah. He got the bus bus mm -hmm. business and coal mm -hmm. business and Yeah. yeah he, well. he, he was independent of her then. Did she That's used right. to did she used to come to the school? Did she Not an awful lot. Yeah. No. She I I don't think her own I think that was the Reverend Green and at the, there at that time. I don't think I got on particularly oh, well. I don't think so. Yeah. No, and uh, now I don't. She used to send notes. She didn't come and get on to us herself. <laughs> <laughs> Sent a little note in. <laughs> Poor so old did teacher you see back. her around the around the village? Pardon? Did you ever see her around the village, or was she always? Not really. No, road? not much. Yeah. She used to, I used to see her walking up up the road here, but. Oh, you did. Mm. 
I suppose she went to church though up there, didn't she? I don't reckon so, Chris. Yeah. She, I'd never see her driving a car or anything like that. Well, she had bluffy written gardens, we had that time. Mm. A taxi. I don't think she ever drew anything or had a car. But what did she do after he wouldn't take her anywhere? Pardon? What did she do after he wouldn't take her anywhere? I don't know, John. Oh, so <laughs> no, I don't know. Then, didn't she? <laughs> well, then uh, the Reverend, what's his name? I don't know. His wife, what still is up near there? Matthias. 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 And she finished up living with him, didn't she? Yeah, yeah well, she went to Bawley. I know she yeah, went to Bawley. Yeah, she went there with him, yeah. No, old girl's 97. Mrs. Yeah, Mrs. 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 Near the pub. Have you spoke to her? Ben's going to come. Oh. Ben's friendly with Mrs. Mathias, so he's going to yes, come. Yes, he lived near. Yeah, he's going to come speak to her. And she used to paint, didn't she, one of them out in the back there? In that little spinny? She had a place out the back there, didn't yeah. she? Yeah, she's been behind the wall. Used to paint out there, and she had one in the Lays Wood. Did she? All daffodils round it, I remember. Well, yeah. a little hut in the Lays Wood, yeah. did she? Yeah. Oh, I never knew that. You know where the feeding pen was when I used to look after mm -hmm. Well, the one that's still There's there now. The pathway go round there, yeah. and up there, and that used to be a little while on there, half a while on there. Yeah. I don't know what happened to it, I'm sure. But no. Did she I forget what they call that place at the back here. The drift, they call that the drift or something? Go on. Right on. The drift, didn't they call that that? No, I don't know. Must be thinking of somewhere else. But that's where she used to paint. She had a place in there, you know. Was that a little wooden sort of hut place he was it? Yeah. Yeah, she's quite an artist. I think she's done the, it's her who done the paintings at Wilfred Tevison's garden. Yeah. No, I don't know what yeah, what Wilfred Tevison, his mother had them, didn't she? Yeah. And yeah. she finished up down at Bawley, like you say, with... <sighs> yeah. So when you were a kid... Pardon? You, when you were a kid, did you ever, with your mates, did you ever go and play in the grounds of the... I would imagine we did. Oh, yeah, just I would imagine we did. I mean, my mother always said, she said, well, you know, they put it on me down to it today. She said, you used to go off about half a dozen dogs. I never knew where you'd gone. I never saw you until mm. that was tea time or something like that, you know, because you'd go off and when you down do that today. Yeah, but you'd remember if you'd played in there because you said you weren't allowed in the gateway. No. When we. There weren't one there when we came here, but after all oh, that was down the wall, I remember when we'd gone to school, that this gateway here, I mean, it's big now, it used to be just the width of a, well, not much wider than a car actually, it's two big posts and a lovely gate across, you know, mm -hmm. and all palings all the way around it, around, right up to the pond. And you to come in there and look in that pond, that morning your life was worse. <laughs> how we thought, you know, she yeah. really frightened the life out of her. Yeah. And they used to go, they used to go on just here somewhere, a pathway, where the, where the fence is, the iron railings, go around, and there used to be a walkway across, and halfway across there was a boat hitch in the middle of the pond. I've got some photographs of it about here. Well, I give the, what's the name up the hall? Sharpie, because he thought about, he might rebuild it, you know. And they somewhat Joanne has taken, she was doing a project at school. And that walkway used to go off the other side of the pond. Mm. And then the, the, the pathway used to go all the way around, around that paddock, all around the, you know, mm. you could see it in the spring though, because all the daffodils still come up and bloom, you know, all right where the walkway was. And they used to, I've never seen it, but the ladies used to be in boats. There's an island in there up this end, and they used to go have a trip around the island you know, <laughs> in a boat, you know. <laughs> yeah. So she, did she live alone up at 
Oh, oh, apart from the house. As far as I know, yeah. yeah. There's a lonely old thing to live in. All these women, what well, used to go up, they used to live in the village, you know. Mm. I used to Oh, so none of them actually lived up there, then, you don't think? I don't think so, Chris. I wouldn't like to say. Uh, oh, that's a creepy old place. Yeah, it's mm, on there. your own, yeah. Oh, well, Big yeah. old place to be. Mrs. Cook was a fan. Yeah, she loved it, didn't she? Yeah. 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 Years she's up there on her own. Rattling around there, great big old. She thought that was the... The only thing that ever frightened us, she said, was when we had this, the storm. Do you remember? 1987? Yeah. And she said, the noise, I've never heard anything. She said, I was terrified. That didn't last many minutes, obviously, but... Uh, she wouldn't come out the next day, would she? No. <laughs> no, that really frightened her, but otherwise she just never bothered. Strange lady, Mrs Cook, come walking down here to go to the post, got an old dustbin bag as an apron, and <laughs> she was a strange woman, she was, honestly. A lady. Yeah. <laughs> A few more like that, don't you, Bill? <laughs> Weren't you, Chris? You were mm, yeah. so good to the village. Yeah. Mm. Never made any noise about it either, did no. I? You know, I did things. But never, never told anybody. I mean, they gave this plan for the village, well, for a, a peppercorn mm. rent, didn't they? She only year. For a hundred years, I put mm. it on, and this fella tried to get it off. Oh, fella. Oh, yes. <laughs> True. Hey? Did you leave that bit? <laughs> I told you to be careful. Oh, we ain't going to play that to nobody. No, did you leave that bit? I told me to get yourself in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. You will. <laughs> anyway, where do we go from here? Just answer Chris's questions. <laughs> well, now, is there anything else you can tell us about the oats that you can remember, or anything else you know about them? I don't know anything else. We... What about the flag? There was oh, a story uh, about the, uh, the haircut. Haircut, but you've told us that one before, so yeah. we don't really... Oh, yeah. About the flag. The flag. What about putting the flag up, Arthur? I haven't heard one about the flag. No. Well, that's the first job my father said he had when he came here. Oh, right. Over the top of the front door, up the hall. Yeah. There's a flagpole, and he shinned up it to have put the flag up. <laughs> Never had a ladder or anything like that. <laughs> and that was blooming holy when mm. he burst up there on top. That was his first job. What flag was it? Don't know. No. <laughs> <laughs> Union Jack, but I don't Jack know what it was better. for. He never said what it was for. But, uh, Okay. He, used to, he used to do all these wagons, wheels, and mm. tumbrils and God knows what. Up, up, up here, there used to be a row of sheds up there, and I was in the inn one. Oh, was he? Oh, yeah, he used to there, do them in there. Uh, yeah. No, I didn't know he did them over there. Well, it was a nice farm yard over there, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. I ain't, ain't now, but... Didn't she? <laughs> I can't tell you, I don't know what you call it now, but... Did your mum have a photograph of the old buildings and that up the road? Well, on this side or the other side? On this side, like from their house up there. Yeah, road, one she? hang up in George's. Yeah, we got one of this, the house, Yeah, but... Yeah, well, hadn't you got it with some buildings? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah one on. We well, have got up. some photographs of the further up the yeah. as well, like where Joy and them... Um, where Joyce Daniels, Joyce Daniels, we got. Hang, yeah, like go up there, we'll go right up to there. And stay, one in George's house. Yeah, I'll you know, the new house was up there. Chris has got, his mother's got it. Yeah, that's probably where he got it from. Yeah. Like, and I reckon Dave got it from there. Yeah, I, I think, don't know. I mm. think they let Dave do it, who built the And they've got they another one George. with an old boy out in the, you know, where they park their cars in between yeah. the lorry and the wall. He stands there, I don't know who he was, I'm sure. But they, them buildings were gone in your time. Oh they yeah, I never down. knew. No, I never knew. Down. Uh, only George's uh, little old house up the top. Yeah. Well, that's what the house across the road built with. All the bricks would come from that. Yeah, that's right, yeah. But he pulled it down, Roger, didn't he? Mm. He gave them, Mrs. Cook gave them to him. Mm. We just take it down and mm. get them out of the way, you know. And Arthur and your father weren't very happy about it because they <laughs> would have done it themselves. 
Yeah, well, you might have been queen there. I don't know why the Prime Minister's cooking in like a house. No, you did that no. beautiful bricks, you see. Yeah. I don't mind any more of the press. All you got to do is lift them off. Yeah, I know. No cleaning or anything. I come off as I don't know why they ever pulled it down. There's lots of people come and want to buy that place, but she wouldn't sell it to them. No, well. Uh, we'll see a lot of she, people. Like, yeah, well, people used to nice. come and ask me if they see me up there, was it for sale? Well, a very yeah. nice place, was it? So tall. Well, that was, yeah, it could be made nice, though. Mm. Cool okay. company, That's still yeah. silly to pull it down, really. It's a like. shame, don't it? Mm. Yeah. But then they and just then we had a houses, don't they? They just keep Mr. Cook, come and see us and see, why don't you build yourselves a, a carport there? Which we did for a few years, didn't we? Mm -hmm. Had a carport. So did Mrs. Oates, did Mrs. Oates drive a car in the end, though? Not that I know. No, because no, no. um, Sanford sold us that she did, didn't they? I think didn't they did, they? yeah. Well, I wouldn't yeah, like to deny it, but I could. Like no. Oh, they, they seem to think that she did. The they, they seem to think that they could remember her driving along that bit at the back, or Pat could, oh, yeah. coming out on the road. So oh. we're going to go and see uh, see Pat again. Oh yeah. Because well, she was up there, weren't she? Yeah. So she'd mm. have remembered a bit about her because she lives opposite, didn't she? So this house, well, which is very large, was this for the house? Was she? Was this the lodge house? When she was a kid, I suppose, weren't she? Yeah. She was young. She was young. How old is this? Pat's. How old is this? Late 60s now, aren't she? Must be 1888. Mm -hmm. On the end. Yeah. What so was this in use as a lodge when, in the Oaks time? Yeah. It was? Yeah. So do you remember who lived here? Uh, I was seated an elderly lady lived here and I can't think of her name. So it wasn't as if they were sort of... Like no, no, I never knew it for years as such, just the house, yeah. yeah. Mm. Used to be a little garden out in the front, mm. little three cornered bit. Now I'll say this gateway, you know, the. I still got a post, half a bit of post in that bit of hedge of mine. Yeah, but you don't want to talk about that, we don't, mister. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's the way you're playing the pain? We ain't going to play that to nobody, don't he, worry. If they do, he'll come, he come back and do this, try to do the same. Oh, you don't want no gates or nothing. <laughs> well, where's most of that? We're going to write things down off of that, aren't we? Yeah, I thought the idea Ben wanted that we, we had some recruiting. You know, oh, well, we have we, Andy, we'll have to get on to edit it, then we're not going to sort of... I thought Pete well, Holden... Just, we could just have a big beginning or something. Yeah. Mark Smith's day, they're still alive, you yeah. I remember him saying the same thing about you, that he wouldn't offer his cap to her, to the old woman. I remember him saying he didn't, he wouldn't do it or something, because he was, he was, <laughs> old Les was a bit like, a bit of a socialist, wasn't he? He didn't yeah. like sort of people. Oh yeah, so he was, he was. <laughs> yeah. He did, I said, I always remember him at work, actually, because he can't work at Lucas when I was mm. there, and he was on the inspection, you see. And these people come round to have a look at him, see what he was doing. And he said, he asked them, are you English? And they said, no, he said, bugger off, I ain't going to show you anything. <laughs> and that's how he was. Shall I turn the shop? Yes. Hey, well, she's got one in there. Yeah. 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 Something that'll turn up in their heads somewhere. Could I have those, please? What do you want? Yeah, see, you see, that's a job to sit like this and think about things. But yeah, they can't tell you. Yeah, when you're generally just sort of chatting that's somewhere. Right, yeah. Just come out, won't it? Yeah. Mm. Yes. But, um, You'll probably think of things later on when we're gone. No, I could have told you Yeah. <laughs> well, did she dress like, did, was she like a Victorian sort of looking woman? Miss Oates, or I always imagined her being sort of all dressed very in black. Very manly woman, she was. She's manly? Yeah. Oh, was she? She was, very big woman. Yeah? Yeah, she old war. I best I can remember, tweedy, you know, Closed. Well, I imagine her in black. Yeah, otherwise she'd be No, no, I don't think she's in dress, but she always has tweed mm. skirts on and things like that. Mm. Yeah. She was a big woman. Yeah. Did she ride? Yeah. Yeah. Did she ride? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I don't know. No. I don't know. Not that I know of. I never knew, knew her do anything, quite honestly. No. No, I didn't. Well, you were only a little lad, weren't you? Well, yes, I went that way. Mm -hmm. No age at all. Did you? Just... I um, think we went to the bench got, I think. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Did you guys the phone? Yeah, yeah. No. Oh, it's been blasted away, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know if you'd seen it first. Don't know who it was. This is the one that Ben's got that I was talking about the other day because he hadn't read them in it. Well, he'd been reading because all I read was this bit here and I knew more about the book than what he did. <laughs> didn't I? <laughs> Because <laughs> it's got about old lady Oates in here. The the old Captain Oates's mother yeah. wouldn't wouldn't let anybody write anything about him or anything. Uh, she burnt all his diaries and stuff. Shame. Those peculiar people. Yeah, I never knew her, Christy. Uh, I assume your father come to work for mm. her. See, so haven't been dead long, haven't they? Well. No, no, well, not really. No, not 1930. Really. Well, 18 years. He hasn't, he hasn't been dead long. It seems long to us. So yeah, he's been dead no. for bloody donkey's years, don't we? Yeah, but, 100 years now, you know. usually. Yeah. He That's hadn't right. been dead very long. She still probably hadn't got over it, actually, but then. No. Probably was while she was ill. I don't know how old yeah, she I was. Don't, I don't think she's ever very mobile. No. When my father worked for her. I remember him saying when they used to, he used to work at obviously where prize is, you know. Mm. Can you remember that uh, there's a row of sheds all the way along there as you go down to the cricket ground, you yeah. know. Cartloads. I do remember him being there, I can't and remember. And he said their time was from seven o'clock in the morning till half past six at night. And he said, in the winter, what, well, this time of the year, I mean, mm. pitch dark, he said, you dare go home. You just stand around in the pitch dark, waiting for half six or six o'clock to come around. Yeah? Because he said, if if you was caught going home early, he'd probably give you the sack, yeah. and you wouldn't get another job in the village. Uh. No, she'd tell everybody, and uh, not to employ you, you know, and that's terrible, really, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the way it was, though, wasn't it? Yeah. You know, when you sort of read these things, you think these people are great people, but, you know, when it comes down to it, they were in a way, but they weren't the sort of normal people, were they? No. Uh, uh, so I often wondered what, their, what it was like in their house, you know, mm. living. Mm. Don't know. Well, she employ all those people. One woman employing all those yeah. women, you say. It's a big old place. Spooky old place, isn't it? During the fires. Yeah, and they had no like hoovers or anything, did they? Everything was brush and scrub and polish mm. and yeah, can't wash. Wash. kitchen, and yeah. And, mm. Mm. I suppose you see Paul turning up. I suppose really they didn't have any choice, did they? Because they lived in the houses, and that was your, that was part. That's of all. Your... Well, that's the village, isn't it? Yeah, that's what I say. You lived in the house, so then all you were expected places. to work at the house. You haven't got a choice, had they? All no. them places right up the road till you got the dick noses. They all belong to yeah. them. Well, they still belong to the hall when I first come in. Yeah, they? yeah. Which is cool. The thatch, thatch, thatch house opposite you mm. belonged here, mm. and. Yeah, all them pump didn't yard. Where Miss Reed pump lived and where your mum yeah. lived and yeah. all them. Pump yard, there's some lads lived there. My grandmother lived in the first one. Mm. Miss Turner in the next one. And her, the pump, the water pump was outside her back behind, door. Mm. And every time anybody went to that pump, she'd come out and have a look, have a chat. <laughs> and then next door was Lenny Martin and his mm. mother. I got all that last time. Then there's old Ida Goodrum and mm. Harold, Harold Goodrum and <laughs> Gussie Goodrum and Charlie Hanwood lived in the bar. Right, yeah. Sometimes. <laughs> Different excitement now. <laughs> yeah. No one climbing into our, anyone else's windows as far as I know. <laughs> well, well there's nobody no. climbing into 
them in yours. <laughs> mm, terrible. Yeah. And that was village life, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's a rum lot down there. Everybody knew everybody and knew everybody's business, didn't they? Mm. Well, these, these are the bungalow was. They used the, the local chimney sweep, the village chimney sweep lived there. Billy, Billy Brown, I think his name was. I know when my dad and Bill Montague built the bungalow, mm. they had one heck of a job with it. There's so many seniors, they couldn't get a foot in so <laughs> I had to dig so far down yeah. together. <laughs> All cinders where you've been cut. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, Mike had a terrible trouble with it, didn't he, when he built that place for that? Did he? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Had a lot of trouble there with water. Mm. Oh, yeah, I remember that story, yeah. Yeah? Mm. It did. I think there's an underground spring there, isn't there? It's a source of some sort, I think. Yeah. Mm. Oh, I thought it was switched off. No. <laughs> we're just chatting. Oh. Be quiet. <laughs> oh, you can. We're just chatting now. Aren't we? We're not going to play it to anyone. Anyway. Anyway. And this. Book. I thought that we're just leaving it on. Didn't come me. I'm picking it all these. Well, your mum always said that the Reeves had a paper, didn't they? What came to Miss Oates to tell her that her son been killed, didn't they, or something? The, the letter come, mm -hmm. and somebody of the Reeves was worked up there as the butler, and she, me and Mum all said that the Reeves had got that. Oh, no, no, Which no, no, really, no. that's something that ought to. Mm. Mm. But I mean, you, you ask your mum, she'll remember yeah. that, because I can remember her telling me that. That was something, <laughs> guy lives in mm, mm. something that came, you know, the night mm. that... He was lost, I suppose. Mm. It was something mm. to do with something like that. And the letter came, they was at dinner or something. And she all said that they'd got that. But I don't think they would let anybody no. slip some because they're very much out Probably worth something. Yeah. Mm. Mm. But there's still something that you could, really anything like that should be. Yeah, it should belong to the village really. In the museum. Well, what can we do, really? Because he doesn't talk to anyone, does he? No. Um, whether he's got his sister or whatever, mind you. They might say they haven't got such a thing. But, I mean, I only know what your mum said. Yeah. Don't take my thing with what you, you are. You see that, that farm over there, that's called Foundry Farm, isn't it? Mm -hmm. They reckon the Oates family shut it down because of the smoke that the Foundry created. It's a blow across there. That's yeah. only the tiles, what you hear, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's another white earth. What, one right down the bottom of the east, up the side of the council houses there. Used to make all floor bricks and things like that. Whether they closed that down or not, I don't know what happened there. That was about the same time they closed it. Yeah, I think it was. about the same time, didn't they? Yeah. I terribly Probably. think close it down because of the smoke, didn't it? We? Well, mm. they, they were all, but that's how they were, all powerful, really, weren't they? they yeah. were. Well, they were, Chris. Yeah. yeah. That's how things were, weren't yeah. it? Yeah. So it's and the past, and they was like king and queen of the village, really. Yes, yeah. Yeah, they could do whatever they wanted, really. That was like getting yeah. villages, though, wasn't it? Yeah, it was the same mm. wherever you went. Mm. Yeah. You hear a lot of elderly people say, don't they, where they used to live, if anybody who was the big noise in the village like that, they come by in a carriage, they had to mm. stop and tip the air, bear the, oh, yeah. bend the knee. <gasps> <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, like it's not that long ago, is it? It's no. amazing, really. I'm all over six fingers about them. Yeah, yeah. 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 But those sort of things, I think it's a good job us changed for that. Did you have a village bobby here? Who? A village bobby, as they used to call it. A policeman, yeah. a village police. Used to live in Bulma. Oh, it was in Bulma, not in, not in the No, I never had one actually in the village, no. Used to ride around on his bike. Mm -hmm. 
What was his name, do you remember, when you were little? Uh, <laughs> Can you remember his name, Melsey? Trying to think of it. Lindsay Smith was one. He kind of used to come round after the other one finished. He was from Belgium, were not he? Yeah. yeah. And that was later. Yeah. Well, I see it after the other one finished. Yeah. They want to know and the name of him. Can't think of bloke's name. Was he from Bournemouthai or the other Bournemouth? Because there was a police no, house Bourne, or both. Bournemouthai. He's from Bournemouthai because there was still a called house. a police house, not it? Yeah, there. But the one right on the court. Ben, there's 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 one at the other Bournemouth as well, isn't there? At the other yeah. Bournemouth. Uh, that Bournemouth Street's got a police house as well, isn't it? Was there? Down Sweden Hall Lane, isn't it? What's that? Well, I don't was... remember being a policeman being down there. No, but there's a police house down there. The same, perhaps nobody ever, they never had police in it, but that was always called a police house. What's Near it? where Chris Felton used to live. Oh, that bungalow? Oh, yeah. yeah. <coughs> was it? Well, one next door to it. Oh, yeah. next door to it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh. The other one's up Roy's Lane, isn't it? Yeah, on the corner there. Yeah, I can't remember his name. Yeah, they got a couple of Chelmsford. Yeah. <laughs> Everything got a couple of one that my sister said, you know, because she's up there near the Fox. But she said, near the ambulances that go by her, she said, never did. She's this morning, she's on the phone, she had a good one there, lights flashing. You know, I've never seen so many, whether they're all... I think sometimes they put the lights on, especially police, don't they? Put yeah, the lights on to get mm. through. Yeah. But she said, I've never seen ambulances now. They must have got a different route coming from somewhere. Yeah. I mean, mm. there was like that baby, wasn't it? Yeah, it took two Braintree. hours to get from Braintree to Chelsea, didn't it? Yeah, but they come from... But the, they, Norwich, they had to come from Norwich, didn't it? So they say, but then now the, the ambulance people say they ain't right, but... Oh. <laughs> they would, wouldn't they? Yeah. Do you want a chocolate oh. there? Oh, look at them. <laughs> I ain't open them, you have to open them. Oh, I can't open them. No, you can open, open them. <laughs> I had a thought they were going to put them in myself. Why not get fat? That was your mother on the phone just now. Huh? That was your mum on the phone just now. Oh, what's she want? I'm not trying to back, but that was engaged. I was talking to somebody else. Who was that? Chris has had to leave on. Oh. She won't, didn't want Chris. Like oh, she no. don't know his name. Oh, I don't want him. I don't want him. I fancy one now. Oh, they've got a little bit of Chris. Well, they're not a bit strong, aren't they? Lovely. Mmm. Oh, they're all chocolate. That was a yeah. And they're bought for me. Well, you don't open them, do you? Because you get <laughs> too many. She even needs a lot, I would. Quite a bit strong, isn't it? Dark chocolate, aren't you? You have another one, Chris. <laughs> 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 Oops, have I got two stuck together? Oh dear. Go on, have it. Oh, I don't know, I haven't much. Too strong. <laughs> yeah, that book I bought, that was when the. Johnson's were up there. Oh, yeah. So and he was there. He signed that. She got him to sign that. Well, if you look in the middle, in the front, he didn't sign on the book. He signed on a piece of paper. So that's not so good, is it? Right. More like him. Um... Yeah, Ben's got that. I think my mum might have got it, hasn't she? I don't know whether she had she it or not. I don't know whether your mum was there or not. She has phone. got one. I think. Your mum? Yeah, she has got a book. I don't know whether that's that one or not. No, I don't know whether be. she come up there. There wasn't, and there was only so many. And I know Evie said to me, "I want you to get one, Joy. I want you to have one because I'd done some things for her." And I got up there, and there was, I was only about two left. Well, I suppose there's more books after that, but I don't know what they've got up there. Well, what made him sign a piece of paper? I don't know. I read that. Oh, look, he wants some glasses. We've got a chocolate on mm -hmm. You ain't got to borrow your glasses at all, <laughs> 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 The family home gets in Hall, Essex. There were rules in the visitors' books. Don't stay an awful time, more than a week. Don't shiver. Don't ask what time the next meal is and don't say what fish when offered fish for breakfast. <laughs> I 
I think I might that. get this book, actually. It's a nice book, isn't it? You can borrow it if you want, now. Oh, that's fine. This is the old lady we've been talking about. Yes, right? I know. I just saw her. Mm. She's not your old lady there, though. No. She doesn't look all that big in there, no. Oh. No. Maybe she's put on weight. Put on weight when you saw her, I reckon. <laughs> Might have had a lot of clothes on that was cold. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so cold up that hill. You haven't? No. And I should do. Mm. But that's strange, you get these things, and that's why I went up, I thought, I'm not, oh, do you think I could see it? I kept looking along the books, and suddenly... Where did you get it? I bought it when we, Evie had an open day up there, that was something oh, to do with Oats Thin, they had a lot of things mm. out, and he was there selling them. I mean, I, I went up, you know, just as, not long after that opened, I was up there, and I just, and I managed to get one. I mean, you've obviously bought them, oh, I don't mean that. I don't think there's many up there on the table. Yeah, table. well, Ben's got it, hasn't he? So he, he must better get it, because he must yeah, have Oh, you'll be able to buy it, Chris, because that's a... Yeah, you must better get it. But you can borrow it if you just want to read it, Mel. Yeah, you don't mind? Okay, thank you. Unless you want to have one of your own. Well, I probably would like to have one of my own, because it's quite a keepsake, isn't it? Mm. You know? Well, if I can't get it, I'll yeah. come and cut it. I think the best place to go is the bookshop at Sudbury, isn't it? Yeah. You know, the little one down Fry Street? Is that the one? What is it called? The bookshop. No, it's got. They've got cards Kessel. and things. Kessel. Yeah. Kessel. 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 Kessel bookshop. Yeah. yeah. And if you've got the author and the name, and they haven't got it, they get it in for you. Mm -hmm. But they, I do go there. Diff you know, different times when I wanted something because I think mm -hmm. they try to mm -hmm. keep going, don't they? Mm -hmm. And that kind of thing wouldn't be any cheaper anywhere else, would it? So. Mm -hmm. So, if you don't want to take it, you want to put it down, do you want to write it down? You've got a piece of paper here. Yeah. Yes, I have. Well, so, you I usually want to know the book. author of the uh, yeah. book. Um, is this is called Captain Alex, is it? Yeah. Soldier and Explorer. There's the, so, uh, one of these two is the Brian Oates here, Arthur, the, who your father. Who had Tuckman's, one of those two. Oh, which one's yeah. which? Yeah. Can I have them, please? But he must have been getting an old man when he had Tuckman's, I should think, wasn't he? Mm -hmm. Yes. So it's Captain Oates, ca I don't know who soldier and is. explorer. Well, one of them is one of them is Captain Oates, and the other one's his brother. Yeah, right. You want the publisher, don't you? Yeah. And who was written by? No, I'll wait till they finish. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's two people, I think. Two but it is quite a nice book to have when that's about mm -hmm. the village. Ask with the Rose Royal Um, I don't know what, what book is that Andy's been reading, because it was a sort of um, day to day account, wasn't it? Yeah. It sounded quite good. Yeah, that's the one that um, yeah. Ash has got as well, isn't it? Mm. I don't know which is which, Chris. No, I don't know which is which. <coughs> <coughs> Old buildings ain't changed much, have they, from the photos in there, all the gardens, mm. really? Yeah. Yeah, because they tried to bring the gardens back, didn't they? The Johnsons did, didn't they? They don't like it at the back there, do yeah. Everything is so regimental, dead straight. And yeah, but that's everybody's choice, isn't it? Huh? Eh? Everybody's choice, isn't it? Mm. Well, yes, but that's the... That was nicer how it was when it was all overgrown like that. Oh, I think yeah, so, with the old apple trees yeah, and that. Yeah, probably, were not it? Like Evie and them, they had that beautiful herbaceous border all along the wall, didn't they? I can't remember. I never went up there when did they were in. Never ever went up there when well, they were in. They did. They'd done the herbaceous border and then they had the roses on the wall. And, and then they set, like, from where Bert lived, all round there by that greenhouse, right, that all round like that. They'd done hairs, trees, what they mm. grew along the wires, but they took them up. Yeah. Well, I think they moved them. To somewhere else, but they were lovely. Oh, I never went up there when they had it. Oh, did I didn't you like, to, I didn't like to go back up there after the cooks sort of went, really. Um, never was the same, was it? No. Really? I didn't like to see it all sort of no. old. Oh, no, Yet was Simon cool. did. I know that was all falling down and everything, but. <laughs> yeah, because I know, because I said to Evie once, I said, well, Mrs. Cook wouldn't have the cobwebs down, she used to say to your, your nan. Don't touch, those, bells mon don't touch the door. those Monty, she said. <laughs> and they were thick black ones mm. on those bells, weren't they? Mm. 
And the lady said, well, I'm sorry, but I don't like cobwebs. <laughs> But they covered her Strange lady, that, Mrs. They? Cook was in lots of ways. Because she'd done all that painting mm. on the wall, that mural, didn't she? And they covered that. They're still underneath, aren't they? Yeah, it? Mm. yeah, they put them, that was a job, mm. so they put the. I think they had to, though, I don't think they could. Oh, wouldn't they? I don't think touch so. It. Yeah. But I might be wrong about that, Chris, but they did have a false wall put there, so it's all behind. Yeah. All those, that, like that window on the stairs, that's lovely, aren't yeah. it? Yeah. That's a beautiful house, isn't it? Mm. Well, Simon Cook reckoned that was lovely, didn't he? He said that's what it wanted. But as he said, he mm. never really lived there. No. He said I was got like, away, school and everything. He didn't come there very much. He said I just remember coming back and hearing the baby cry. Mm. And she just had, would that be Crina, would it? Crina. Is she the oldest? Mm. Or Paulie? Well, no, Paulie's the youngest. Oh, she had, said I reckon that was Corinna. Corinna's. That was the first one. one she had. Mm -hmm. right. Two of them up there, didn't she? Bill, William, and Nicholas. They both died with brain hemorrhages. Yeah, I do remember one of them, Nicky, I think. Yeah, that was quiet. The one. Young fella. Weren't terribly old when they died, either. Yeah. How many years did you know them, Granddad, live up there? Quite a lot, didn't they? Yeah, I suppose they all that day, wasn't they? I mean, Yvonne had got you all small, hadn't they? They come there from the bells, didn't they? Yeah. I don't know, they were up there to me, but I mean... They come there after the bells, but Mum got married when she was at the bells, didn't she? Yeah. So that was in the... Yeah, that was remember 50, that. 54, was it, she got married? She wasn't very old, was she, about? I think it was 54 when it was something oh. when she got married. So they'd have been in there about in 1955, I suppose. Yeah. And they were. They must have been there till the eight, 85 at least. Must they must have yeah. been 30 odd years there, mustn't yeah. they? Yeah. Well, what were they? Cold old house, so if you didn't have a father. Like. Yeah, well, they. They, they all are though, aren't they? All these old houses, really. Up there. We have a new house. No, I've got two or three heating systems in there now, haven't I? Yeah. No, Chris was talking about the oh, cottage. Oh, the cottage. Oh, the cottage. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that was cold. That was all right when, when Nan and Grandad did there because they had that ray burner light. That never went out, did it? No. no. That ray burner never went out. No, they never they were there all the right, time. That always seemed it. lovely and warm, but when me and Caroline lived there... I don't think... Bloody yeah. free. Ryan was ever littered. No. They, they use there. it to store on, don't they? Yeah, we used to. Yeah. We used to have a light, but we didn't have a light all the time because no. we weren't there. We was at work. We was at work, yeah. and that was always you come in light the fire. That never you could never warm the place up. No. It was always freezing, but that was always warm in Nan and Grandad were there because they were there all day, weren't they? Yeah, and of course they had the. I think Graham and them got the heat, and they got the oil heat. And yeah. No. They always have a fire. I don't think it was very dear, was it? Mel? Nine ninety-five. Yeah, not dear, not bad, is it really, it? for that size book? No. Might even be on Amazon. That's a marvellous oh, thing. It might be, might not it? Yeah, what they went right through like, to even get there. Because it's, yeah. it's Oates Year, they might. Well, no, the conditions and yeah, whatever. My daughter would get always getting books and things. They're hanging up with things. Might be now I'm doing help. Christmas presents or something, and she said, I'll get more. Mm -hmm. The surprise and the difference. No, you're pretty safe if you go there now because you will come and get you if anything goes wrong. Sure. Yes, thank you. Very nice. Well, why did they want to go there? <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> That's what always amused me. I, I don't know. What, to the, to the poles? Yeah. 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 What's the point of it? Well, it's an adventure, isn't it? It's yeah. an adventure, then. Well, that's all. A challenge. Yeah. Like, not climbing mountains. Find out what's there, isn't it? Well, look, them sort of people haven't got nothing else to do. They weren't fight, <laughs> fighting them. If they weren't no. fighting the war, no. they hadn't got anything else to do, really, no. had they? No. So they had to have a plan and adventure. They yes. weren't like working people. You've got to go Find to work. what's there, don't they? Because nobody's been. Yeah, they hadn't got. If, if they'd have been two years. Later on, and they'd have been in the first world war. They wouldn't have bothered about that. No, no, probably not. Someone's got to go at some time, haven't they? Yeah. Yeah. Did you yeah. want more drink, Chris? No, no. no sure. No. We won't stay much longer. We've been here. Oh, what's the time here? Yeah.
Nine o'clock. Yes, yeah, so time's over. Big yeah. time, is it? Getting that way. <laughs> <laughs> he gets up early. Oh, don't like getting up in the morning. So oh, dark, I had a job to get out of bed this morning. That was lovely. What time do you get up? What time do I get up? Up, up by six. Uh, yeah, I was up. Too early. I can't make it at half past six. This weather. Yeah, it's so dark in the morning, but don't the nights pull out? Yeah, mm. I was going to get out of bed seven. It was four today, and I was over to see my mum, and you looked out the window, it was light. Mm. I hoped that. Uh, well, Last week it was dark at that, that's you know, uh, not dark. It was changing very quickly. Well, it was actually dark morning this morning, but old chickens, days, bloody chickens wouldn't come out there, I think it was this morning. <laughs> that's because that's cold, I reckon, wasn't it? I think it might have been. That's right. I opened the window this morning, I wouldn't come out of the house this morning. <laughs> <laughs>